A new study has been released showing the incredible power of spinach. The study from Texas A&M University was one of the first to establish how spinach may reduce the risk of cancer. Researchers found that spinach could inhibit the growth of polyps among people with both non-genetic and genetic colon cancer. Polyps are a collection of cells that grow inside the lining of the colon and can turn cancerous. The scientists said that in preventing the growths from forming, the risk of cancer could diminish by as much as 50% in some patients. Now, sadly, this study was conducted on rats, but it did show these amazing results. The new study then built on that previous research to investigate how exactly spinach interacts with gut bacteria and genetics to achieve its beneficial effects. The senior investigator of the study said spinach consumption should be encouraged for individuals looking to lower their risk of the disease. Spinach contains high levels of zeaxanthin and carotenoids, which have been shown to flush out the free radicals from the body. Free radicals cause damage to DNA, playing a role in the development of cancer and many other diseases. Spinach has also been shown to prevent stomach, mouth and esophageal cancers. It also has a number of benefits for other health aspects such as weight loss and reducing blood sugar and hypertension. However, we may need to be careful not to consume too much spinach. So let's hear why from Dr. Michael Greger. I had a, a little cautionary note about overeating certain types of greens for people who are doing the right thing and eating cups of greens a day, as we all should, dark green leafy vegetables. I encourage people to stick to low oxalate dark green leafy, so that's basically all greens, with the exception of beet greens, Swiss chard, and spinach. All those three greens are fantastic greens. I eat all those greens, and I enjoy all those greens, but if you're eating cups a day, then I would encourage people to go with kale and collards and arugula and bok choy, mustard greens, all these other wonderful greens out there. And the concern is with kidney stones. The video, probably a series of videos, will come up about it, so you can look at all the detail and click on the links and read all the PDFs yourself and uh, make up your own mind, but I just want to give that heads up. So should we completely cut out spinach from our diets? Well, that was the question asked to Dr. Gregor on his Facebook page, and here was his response. There have been a few questions about cooking. Studies suggest that boiling for 12 minutes and then discarding the cooking water can remove about 60% of the oxalates. Unfortunately, that still leaves them too high for comfort if you're eating cups a day. I encourage everyone to eat huge amounts of dark green leafies every day, the healthiest food on the planet. But if you follow this advice, then just choose any of the other wonderful greens. If you eat regular, boring amounts of greens, like a serving a day, then it doesn't matter which you choose. I will continue to eat spinach, beet greens and chard all the time. It's just that you can overdo those three. So when I'm trying to hit my pound a day green leafy quota, I do mostly kale, collards, arugula, etc. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.